How do you become a construction contracts administrator? In this video, we'll cover what the role is, whether or not you need a degree, if you don't have a degree, how to land a job, and what the career path of a contracts administrator looks like. In summary, if you're looking to build a career in the construction industry and you don't have a degree and you're keen to get away from the on-site coordination stress of the construction works, then contracts administration could be a great career path. It's very focused on contracts, schedules, budgets, and the money and contract side of construction. And that's why it's a great set of skills to develop if you're looking to move more into managerial roles at construction companies. Because at the end of the day, it's all about contracts and money, the business side of construction. So what do contracts administrators actually do? Okay, so the best place to understand the role of a contract administrator is to look at job postings. What do construction companies that employ contract administrators want them to be able to do? So if we look at this one, for example, there's really two key parts of it. They want help with subcontract procurement and administration. So those are the downstream contracts and they want support to the project manager with the head contract, so the contracts between the general contractor and the client. And to do this, they want certain proficiencies in the software tools they use, ability to interpret plans and specifications, so read construction drawings, and then an understanding of construction contracts and also certain soft skills. If we look at another contract administration job role, it's about being the lead commercial role, which means understanding the agreements and helping to administrate contracts, but also understanding and tracking expenditure, being responsible for key risk items. And the final one we'll look at is liaising with project stakeholders, performing takeoffs and ordering materials, providing project scheduling, forecast and cash flow, issuing variations, managing progress claims from subcontractors, managing subcontractor letting, which is another way of saying procurement. So you can see to most of these job roles, there's the contract side, there's the project control side, which is very much scheduling cost and risk. And then there's certain soft skills they want people to have. So communication, teamwork, problem solving. So if we summarize this, what does a construction contract administrator need to be able to do? So they need to be able to manage the contracts. So draft, review, and manage contracts, for the project. So this is both the head contract, the contract with the client and subcontracts, subcontracts with our supply chain, oversee payments and the payment claim process. As we've seen, payment is an essential part of any construction project. And part of this also ties into managing and controlling costs, particularly subcontract costs and managing risk. So if we think more globally about the role of a contracts administrator, so we understand construction is about delivering projects and there's two sides to this. There's the physically doing the work, ordering materials, scheduling, liaising with subcontractors, checking things are built correctly. And then there's the money and the contract side of this. It's getting paid for the work you've done, managing subcontractors and managing commercial issues. So contracts administration broadly captures the money and the contract side of delivering projects. So we can really boil this down to a couple of skills. Obviously, you need an understanding contracts. You need an understanding of estimating and cost control. Importantly and often overlooked is you need an understanding of construction. Every commercial dispute I've ever been involved in in a project had a technical and a construction side to it. So an understanding of the substance of the work that you're managing is absolutely essential. Being able to read and understand engineering drawings, being able to understand different construction methodologies and just having this broad understanding of how projects get delivered. And finally, having a strong set of teamwork skills because you need to work with the construction supervisors and engineers who are managing the work and you also need to be able to work with and resolve issues with some contractors or the client. So the next question, do you need a degree? Well, in terms of the overall statistics, 60 to 80% of contract administrator job postings require at least a bachelor's degree. It's generally considered advantageous to have a degree. However, it's not strictly necessary. Some of the best contract administrators that I've known came from trade backgrounds and they had the advantage of truly understanding the construction methods and how things are built. So if you don't have a degree, the job role is still very much viable and open to you. 
My recommendations would be to start with smaller companies that place less emphasis on degrees and accreditations. Look at similar parallel roles as your foot into the door of the construction industry, for example, starting with blue collar construction work or project coordinator and administration roles, but also look at getting and obtaining professional certifications and training. For example, the National Construction Management Association has a contract administration certification. So once you become a contract administrator, what are the career paths? So people start off in the role of a contract administrator, they then get experience, move into the role of a contract and procurement manager for a project. So this means you're looking after all the procurement all the subcontracts and all of the head contract management, you'll typically be managing a team of contracts administrators. People will then typically move into either a project manager role or a business contracts manager role. So this is where as the project manager, they're overseeing the entire project, project including the design, the construction, the commissioning, as well as the procurement and contracts. As a business contracts manager, this is where you take on the role of overseeing a portfolio of projects as the contracts manager for the entire business. And then from here, they'd move into the business leadership and management roles.